If you are at least slightly familiar with the configurator, you will notice that the new calibration tab is located over here, of course, as a calibration. What's inside? Mm, not much. There is a section for the accelerometer calibration, when you can perform either the six-step calibration procedure, or if you have the calibration values, accelerometer zero and gain, just type them there and you are happy, or you can do the compass calibration. For today, let's concentrate on the accelerometer calibration. As you can see, in my case, all the six steps of calibration were already performed and my accelerometer is calibrated. But if it's not, and or I would like to do it one more time, the procedure will look like this. First, hit calibrate accelerometer button and then you will see a notice telling exactly what you do. So you have to click OK, place the flight controller in any position you want and click calibrate. So let's do it. Ah, one more time, one more thing. The first step has to be performed with accelerometer facing up. This is required. You cannot do the first step of calibration with accelerometer facing down or on the side. No, the first step always has to be with accelerometer up. My board right now is laying with the accelerometer up. Let's hit calibrate. Wait for a second. You see? Step one down. Step one. Hmm. Step one done. Now, I reversed the board to face accelerometer down. Hit calibrate. And done. And now you can do every step in any order you want. For example, Right now I had forward facing down, down, down. Next one. One more time in any order you want. It's not absolutely important besides the first step. And beautiful. Calibration has been finished. Simpler than the previous way, right? Like I said a few minutes ago, this is how it looked like. You cannot use this feature yet because both the iNav firmware and iNav configurator have to be released. This will probably happen in, let's say, somewhere around February and then voila. If you want to use this feature right now, you would have to build the firmware by yourself and use the development version of the configurator. There is an instruction on the GitHub, so everyone with at least some computer skills should be able to manage it. And until then, well, that's all. Ah, yes, and one more thing. If you like the video, thumbs up. You did not like the video, thumbs down. But uh, either way, if you are into Nineav, into like the, the videos I'm doing, please subscribe. This will help me a lot. And until the next one. Ciao!